Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we return in seven days to die. Last we left off, we got ourselves the absolutely amazing AK-47. I cannot get over how nutty this thing is. I saw some haters commenting like, yo, Star, that gun sucks. And then I put it, and then I shot it. And like, I looked at its stats. It's, it's one shot is just as powerful as my sniper rifle. Except this thing is a little bit more fully automatic, so that's a pretty big improvement in my eyes. But anyways, today we have a little bit of a goal in mind. My goal is some blade traps. I would love to get some of these going. We can actually get a couple going as soon as we get some forged iron craft, in which I believe I got the beginning process of down here. Did that craft? Ooh, we got that forged iron, boy. That's very good. So we're going to try and start crafting that up at the workbench. All we got to do is grab some of our forged steel that we got ourselves a little bit of. Some people are saying, Star, why'd you get the forged steel? You could have bought the blade traps. Okay, A, I missed the blade traps. Totally my bad. My fault. Apologies. But it's not really a bad thing because think about it. What we're about to go do is get even more blade traps. We're going to craft some and then we're also going to make some. So it's kind of a pretty big win-win. We're also getting some work done for our farm on the roof. If you guys remember, we're crafting a ton of those things. Uh, but for now, number one priority is we just want to get the parts that we need, which is going to be some mechanical, some electric, and a whole ton of blade traps being crafted right around here. There you are, blade trap. Why can I not craft you? Do I need- I need to learn something, don't I? What do I need to learn? Hmm. I don't like that. Is there something that I need to learn for traps? Because I don't have any points. I caramba, there is- oh no. Well, I guess this will go on pause for a little bit, but that's alright because we got the money. We are a couple of rich fellas here, so we're just gonna go and buy ourselves some of these traps. And I think the main place I want the traps by is going to be by the doorway because zombies have that weird attraction to doors. I still don't fully understand it. But what we're gonna try to do then is go around a little bit to a couple of the traders' outposts. We got one here, we got one a little bit down south. Gonna try to stop by both of those before they restock because they're actually restocking tomorrow. Which is kind of perfect because that means they might have even more blade traps available for us to buy. But blade traps aren't the cheapest things, but that's okay because we are filthy rich after what we found last time, for reals. We found some really good stuff. And that SMG we have too, we could turn that into a pretty good SMG, but for now we'll go here. Last we were here, there was like a dog or something. It was quite sketchy if you ask me. Oh, look at that beautiful. Gorgeous AK. God, I love this thing. Just look at it. Look at it. I don't think it's ever gonna get old. The AK is just such an iconic weapon, dude. It's Your hard not to love. Welcome here. You have blade traps, my man. Oh, yes, he does. We will buy those. And there we go. Problem solved. Video. Thank you guys in the comments for letting me know about that, though. I totally must have glanced over that, you know, because I think when we visited this trader, I wasn't focusing on blade traps. Or I just didn't look hard enough in the secret stash. I think I was very set on getting steel, but... As you guys may or may not have just realized, we now have our hands. Y'all come back now. Yeah, yeah, I'll think about coming back, my buddy. Uh, but we now have our hands on some very deadly stuff. The blade traps, which we're going to be setting up and adding to our base defenses today. Now, hopefully the second trader maybe even has a little bit of stuff. We still have enough gas to get probably there and probably back. And then we're going to come back here. If we have a little bit of extra time in the day, we might head over to the city. Maybe try to loot like a small thing or two. Uh... I would say go to the new town, or the new city, but with that, I just, uh, we, we wouldn't have time to fully explore it. But if you guys know what I'm talking about, out there to the east, there's a second city, very close to this one. I don't know what it is with Twin Cities. Apparently, our seed is, it just loves Twin Cities, which is pretty awesome. Someone was actually asking what my seed is. I will get back to you on that, probably in the next 7 Days to Die video. Right now, 7 Days to Die is going up every other day, in case you guys haven't noticed, just as a bit of a heads up. But I will try to get back to you guys on that, because just right now, I don't know. I don't think, like, hitting escape shows me or anything. Like, I don't think going to options will do anything. Like, yeah, no. It doesn't say anything. It's not like Ark, where it tells you, like, you know, the name of the... I, I don't... Oh, God, was that what I... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, screw off, wolf. Do not want to fight your kind again. Your kind is annoying, hard to kill, and glitchy, because they never actually die. The two times I think I've killed a wolf... You know what's happened? They've just kind of like, you know, their dead body is levitated in place. It's weird. I don't know. Let's close these doors behind us just in case. Let's talk to a trader number two over here. Maybe he has some more blade traps. Might be worth okay, it. Okay, fucker. Oh, you wow. the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Aren't you nice? Yeah, but here's the AK. I know some of you guys said this is what I wanted to buy. I could buy this, but with how expensive that is and the fact we already have an AK. Oh, that barrel, though. That's a nice barrel, but... 
given the fact we already have, you know, an AK that's slightly worse, I'm not too worried about having to get that to survive, you know? So I think I'm pretty good with maybe putting it off. Now, iron dart traps are a thing. Now, when we start leveling up, leveling up's still an important thing we gotta do. But what I think we gotta do is also set up some dart traps. That seems pretty, pretty cool. But I guess nothing in this Watch guy. Yourself, Thought I'd check, I know no. some fellers who break legs. Okay, yeah, whatever. Fellers who break legs. Have you seen the amount of legs I've broken? Do you know how many zombies are kneecapless because of my actions? A lot of them. Trust me when I say that. Let's not go drive this thing underwater. That would be a fail. Let's head on back to town. We got what we needed. Maybe stop by the military place. You know, the military places may have respawned. Because I think we got... Mm, I'll check. There's a chance that they have respawned. We haven't visited those places in quite a while over here. And if they have, I'm down. You know, my inventory is, it's got a good amount of room. I'm down to try to get some more military stuff up in there. But anyways, I hope all of you guys are having nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic day in the world, me. Well, I'm actually gonna be streaming ARK a little bit later today. I'm streaming at like 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Just as a quick little heads up, you guys might want to check that out if you're watching this the day of. Uh, gonna be over on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash starsnipe. We're streaming ARK, because ARK actually came out. I did a video on ARK today, if you guys might want to check that out. About the new ending, because I actually updated the ending, which was pretty cool. Pretty sick. And you know, we got a little bit of time to spare. Okay, if none of the weapons have respawned, you know what I'm actually gonna end up doing? I will probably... I'm gonna check here first. There's that new town I was talking about, though. Really want to check that out, but... Oh, almost walked into a landmine! Forgot about my best friends, the high explosive. Let's not get our stuff blown up to Timbuktu. Another thing you guys said was, I don't know if it was this camp or another camp, but the, 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 the word around the street here, right? Do we have, yeah, we got the fire axe. Good, good, good. Word around the street is that one of these camps actually had a hidden military munitions box that I totally passed by. And that made me a very sad camper because I like good loot. And uh, if there's a military box we passed by, that means we missed out on some good loot. But someone said, like, somewhere in here, like, you know, in the logs or something, there is, uh, it's hidden. Something like that. Uh, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything hidden. Maybe if I break them up a little bit, that might change. So I'm going to try to break through this a little bit. See if maybe there's going to be something down there. But I don't know. It's worth a shot. You know, worst case, we get a little bit of wood out of it. Best case, we get a little bit of gun out of it. So there's nothing here. Nope, I mean, those logs broke, okay. I'll take that wood for free. Yeah, not looking like there's anything there. Uh, anything respawned here? Cardboard box? No, it hasn't. This is a bad sign. This means that maybe it's not ready to respawn here. Why don't we check? Where the hell are the munitions boxes here? Uh, cowboy hat, no. And it doesn't even matter, none of this stuff respawned. Well, poop. Whatever, what you gonna do? Answer, not much. Let's dip on out. Maybe we haven't been gone as long as I thought we were. Uh, let's just focus on not getting blown up all the way to Timbuk 2. Weave a little bit. And we got a little bit of time to spare. We could go. Eh. Do we have the gas for such an adventure? To hell with it. I think we got the gas for such an adventure. We got a little bit of time. Not the most time, but we got a little bit. Why don't we do a quick run through? and see what's in this town. Again, tomorrow, what we're gonna do in the next day, we're heading over to the quadruple gun store after we check out some of the new trader stock. What was that? I heard like a burp. Isn't that the sound that the police officer zombie makes? But yeah, I just wanna drive through here real quick and see if there's anything worthwhile for coming here later on. But like I said, tomorrow we're going back home to our original home, getting our quadruple gun store, reloading that. And from there, I don't know what we're gonna do from there. As always, we'll play it by ear and crash into cars. I'm very good at that part of my job. <laughs> okay, what else is going on? We got that tower. We got the work in progress the skyscraper. Whatever the hell that is. Hold up. Is some sort of like alien? Oh no, no, that's that's the tower. Okay, I was really confused. I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> it was just this floating sign, but no. It's another Higashi pharmaceutical tower. And then over here. We got another one of those death trap skyscrapers. But we ought to be able to get into that secret room. We know that it's trapped. We know where the traps are this time, so we know a little bit of what to expect. What is this? A bank! Oh! If we got a little bit of time to spare, 
I think it's time we commence in Operation Bank Robbery. Yeah? Yeah, do we agree? Is Operation Bank Robbery a good operation? I think it's a great operation. Hello, bank. Are you prepared to be robbed by none other than Star? Of course you are. Of course you are. Oh, the door's open. What a great start to a robbery. I'm not gonna use the AK on you unless I have to. I still got these amazing arrows. Let's switch over to the stone. Oh, hello, friend. How do you do? I have a sledgehammer just for you. Oh, yeah, big hit. Down on the ground with you. Yeah, down to the to the hell with you. Oh, Jesus, another one. Woo! Okay, he's dead. I love how manly my screams are. You know, I, I feel I real I feel like my screams really intimidate those who would try to mess with us. I just feel like I'm really good at screaming. It's an art. Okay, see you later, decayed mother. You are extra decayed now. I'm helping you out. I'm on your team. Think about it. I'm just helping you decay a little bit faster. You know? Not everyone has time to decay over like millions of years. So I'm out here just like, hey, my name's Papa Star, and I approve this message. And then I approve the message, and oh god, crawler, go to the bathroom. I was gonna say, I, I approve the message, and then I go poo, but uh, no poo poo right now. Okay. Do do to you. Oh, another survivor down. All right. Unfortunately, it does not look like they are hiding their most valuables in the bathroom. It would have been a genius place to do it, but I don't think that they are. There's a construction worker here, though, and it got eerily quiet, and the construction worker is eerily dead. Oh, but I see the area. What the hell? A white t-shirt? Oh, you disgust me. I hear movement. That's not my movement, baby. Oh, what if there's someone... You know what would actually be useful? If there was a zombie inside of the vault? Because that means he would help us break into there a little bit quicker. And that vault has to have, like... That's got to have some good stuff. You know what we could honestly do? I think it's going to involve a lot of breaking through stuff. Oh, yeah. You know what? Might be a bit easier to break through this now that I think about it. But I was going to say... Hey, we got a level up. That means we are one step closer to crafting our own traps, you see? This way, we could get a dart trap out of the range traps, but for now I'll buy that, and I would love to invest in the blade traps. We are going to need, like, two more levels to do that, though. What's that noise? I'm hearing... Oh, cash registers! Money, money, money! Money! Oh, hello, my friend! Would you like to help me break out? You guys want to break out of the bank? I want to break in. I think that we could really help each other here. Now, they are obnoxiously loud, which is always annoying. But I think, okay, I'm gonna let him continue breaking. Oh, you called in the reinforcements, did you there, laddie? Well, your reinforcements are dead. They are extremely dead. They are decaying and dead. There's a lot of zombies in there, isn't there? I do done diddly believe so. Ooh, that's a nice little bandana. Is that better than the bandana I have? Oh, yes it is. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. We gotta break into here. There is, oh, there's a lot of zombies, isn't there? Well, it might take them a minute to break through this. Eh, they're doing an okay job. But I'm gonna try to break through the side. See if maybe I could sneak in from there. And then break through all of those safe boxes. That's a lot of safe boxes. That's a, that's a time investment if I've ever seen one. Also, hold on, my screen turned black for a sec. That's a time investment if I've ever seen one. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh yeah, they are. They are trying to sneak in. Goodbye, crawler. Death to you. Get your head out of this doorway. Oh, Jesus, it's a bloodbath. Oh, God. I hit the doorway on accident. I, I apologize, doorway. Ow. That hurt. You mean... You meanie. I... I... Okay, you meanie bobini. All right, the carcass is dead. Is that everyone? Boom shakalaka. That's everyone. Hey, he had a gun. My man. You were ready to hold out in this bank. That's probably like the freaking manager, and he's like, I losing all this money to the zombies. Uh-uh. Now, here's the problem, is that all of these are locked, which means they are going to be a pain in the patootie. Oh, gee. Oh, no. Oh, was that? I hear zombies. How many zombies was that that I heard? I heard some footsteps. Regardless, back to what I was saying, uh, we ought to be able to break into quite a few of these and bask in the beauty. Oh, yeah. There is beauty to bask into. Hey, we got another level up in that athletic skill. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all... That's what we robbed a bank for. Now, like I said, steel pickaxe might have been better for breaking through these. To hell with it though, I'm gonna use what I can. I'm gonna try to break through these and when nighttime hits, we will roll back around to our base. Once we get back to our base, uh, we will try to, we can't build the blade traps yet. Hopefully we level up. Eh, we need two more levels. I don't think that's gonna happen. But hopefully what happens 
You know what I like about the Iron Pickaxe? It doesn't drain the hell out of our stamina. Like, it's going down, but it's not going down at an insane rate. Like I was gonna say, we'll set up the blade traps probably as soon as we get- Hello! As soon as we get back. That is our new and improved best pistol, is it not? Oh yeah, and we're hungry. Well, guess what? We found some food in the bank! Oh, hello. We're officially at purple guns, except for the AK. AK might be a journey to make that purple, but honestly, I'm prepared for the journey. Uh, do I have anything to make us- No, nothing to make us regenerate uh, our stuff faster, our stamina. Nothing like that. So it's just gonna be me breaking through a bunch of these safes right now, and hopefully that happens uh, quicker rather than not quicker. So I'll talk to you guys when these things are about to be done being broken into. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to break into... Uh, we broke through all of these. I haven't even looted them yet. Wanted to save that responsibility for you guys. These last two, though, listen, it's already like 8 p.m., so I'm not trying to uh, continue our shenanigans too late into the night. So we're gonna get what we can. Oh, yeah, we are. We are going to come back later, and I don't think this is gonna... Uh, nope, no disappointment here. This is the opposite of disappointment. We're also a little bit... <laughs> Oh, uh, ho, 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 ho. I think robbing the bank- uh, Iron Helmet Schematic, that's new. I think robbing the bank was a pretty good idea. Would you guys agree with me or disagree with me? If you disagree with me, you are a communist and I don't respect- No, I'm kidding. Dude, oh my god. This is some nutty stuff that we're getting. Uh, anything else that I could drop here to make a little bit of room? A little bit- We got some oil. I like selling oil though because it makes a lot of money, but... We gotta drop something, and it's out with it. It's out with the wooden frames. Hello, Magnum frame. That's the type of frame I'm looking into investing into, but... Dude, there's some... There's some good stuff here. And there's still two more that we can break into. I am so tempted to break into them, but it's a hell with it. I think we got a little bit of time. But anyways, while this is going on, I did want to ask you guys a little bit of a question while we break through these final two. So, what do you think we should end up doing with our base defenses? This is pretty important because right now, my general direction is two high concrete walls around the base, and after that, as many blade traps as possible. But there's other defenses for us to invest into as well. I'll actually go ahead and take a peek at the traps and whatnot, but there are some more traps and stuff that we could do, and that's just paper. Of course, you're the disappointing one, but... I mean, looking at the traps that there are, uh, what is there, blade traps and dart traps, those are two pretty nice ones, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell, uh, this has. Okay, so we get dart traps, shotgun tur- oh, that's how we craft the turrets. Okay, so I guess those are, like, the main defenses. What do you guys think we should invest- like, should we do some electric fence posts, maybe? I don't know. That's why I want you guys to know, because at the end of the day, this is our series. This is our base that we are sworn to protect. So, together, I think we should be the ones brainstorming something to ultimately uh, protect ourselves. Now, we've almost done robbing the bank vault, only half of a safe to go. And once this is over, it is time for us to cash in and get the hell out of Dodge, because Dodge is about to get ugly. And then, once nighttime hits, I'll probably end up... I don't know. There is... I did want to get... Oh, that's... Uh, we have both of those. Damn, just schematics. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If we wanted to, right, there is the possibility there's still, like, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's still five more wall saves to go. We're running a little bit low on time, though, so we're definitely not coming back. Let me know in the comment section if you guys think we should come back. Is it worthwhile to come back to the banking place and see maybe if there's anything else, you know, that might pique our interest? But for now, I think we're pretty good in terms of robbing the bank. We did a pretty good job. I'm happy with ourselves. Why don't we continue cruising through this place just a little bit? Let's turn on that light, it's starting to get dark. And we're gonna make our final loop-de-loop, -loop, our final approach, and get the hell back home. Because right now... Dude, there's a lot of churches in this town, that's one thing I've noticed. A couple of smaller buildings, we got... What the hell is that over in the distance? I know I said I was gonna go on my way home, but listen, some things caught my eye, and when my eye gets caught, it gets caught. What the hell is this hole right here? This looks like... Oh, just a random little tent, okay. That's the thing, when you're looking at the sides of hills, if you see a random tent like that, it's actually surprisingly useful. And hold on, if this trader's still open, maybe I'll stop by and see if he has any blade traps for sale, and then we'll make our way back home. Hello, trader. Don't tell me you're closed already. They, eh, the, the sign says open. All right, I got a little bit of time to spare, and my mini bike has the sketchiest light ever happening. Do you have any blade traps, my good sir? Trader Bob? Oh, yeah, he does! Oh, we can't afford that many. We can afford three, though. 
and probably sell some pistols. Uh, we'll sell some. Uh, definitely the hunting rifle stock. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Uh, don't care about the sawn off either. That could definitely be sold. All right, we got the money for the last blade trap and another battery bank and an auger blade. Hold on, we got it. Well, I I get it. I okay. Yeah, I know you guys are closing soon. You have something that I need to buy. It's called an auger blade. I need it right now. Uh, I'll sell the crappier pistol to hell with it. Can I afford this yet? Yes! That means an auger is inbound, baby. We have a chainsaw. We have an auger. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got all that juicy endgame stuff. What's that fire right here? Is that a legit fire or is that like a fire? He's got turrets up the wazoo. Is there anything else I could sell to this man? Like, I don't want to sell the 44 Magnum parts, because those might be pretty good. Uh, take my oil, please, kind sir. Take all of my oil. I don't care about that at all, if you haven't noticed. Um, no, and for- Oh, all, all the old cash? Are you interested in that? Eh, only about 600 bucks. I don't think we can afford either of those turrets. Damn! Oh, we've been booted out! Alright, thanks. Thanks, Joel. You're a cool dude. Still. Ah, that sucks. He had so much. If we came here with more money, we could have got a lot of those turrets. Well, I guess that's going to be some of the upgrades we do. Right now, we got to haul our booty back home because home is uh, its a little while away and it's kind of the middle of the nighttime. So we got to go. Oh, not straight into a plant. We got to go. Oh, no, not that way. We got to go home. What's this over here, though? I mean, listen, it's the middle of the night. No one's going to catch us on this anyway. Might as well explore the wastes a little bit, see what they have to offer. Uh, so far, all I see is a random body of water. Well, speaking of that, water might be a good thing for us to invest back into kind of soon. I know we've been running a little bit low. We're starting to run a little bit low on those supplies. What is this over here? You see that? That looks like uh, it could be a little something in the road, or is that just like a car or something? Oh, no, that was just some coal that I saw. Okay. This looks to be like a pretty open area right here. Hold on! There's a new treasure? I didn't quite notice that. When we're, when we're in the safety of our home, I want to investigate that. Because you guys see that? There's a, there's a treasure icon. I don't remember unfolding some sort of new treasure. Oh, that was a zombie we drove right by. Hello! <laughs> Are we going to the right place? I sure as hell... Oh, we gotta be going that way more. Whatever. Either... Ow. No, no, no. Do not crash. Not in the middle of the nighttime. We want to stay our course, baby. We want to know where we're going. The light should be able to help out a little bit with that. Luckily, we had enough of gas for this adventure. Because if we got stranded with no gas, I think I would have cried. That would have been so bad. <laughs> but for real, what do you guys think we should end up doing with our defenses? Because there's turrets to pick from, dart traps. Although, I feel like dart traps might be annoying to keep up with the darts. But still, dart traps. We got uh, electrical fence posts and blade traps. Blade traps we are going to start installing into the base very, very soon. Do not even worry about that, my preciouses. But in the meantime, we do have a couple of different options to pick from. And also, what do you think we should do with our defenses in terms of how high the wall should be? Because we kind of did rush a little bit just so we could survive that horde that was coming, the Day 28 horde. Well, now we got a little bit of time to spare before the Day 35 horde hits, and... I would like our base to be even better than before. So what I'm going to do is after we get home and after I end this episode, what I'll probably end up doing is collecting some of that rock, collecting some of that sand. I think that's the two things we get, right? And then hopefully some clay from around somewhere. But I'm going to go into the mines of my house and try to collect those things because I should be able to collect them pretty well. Now, I will also turn off the light. We don't need that on. I'll leave this right about there. Let's get our patooties back into safety. And voila, we survived with seven blade traps. Oh, mama, I'm liking that number. Seven's a lucky number. We have a lucky number of blade traps. Coincidence? I think not. I still can't believe the only magnum part we're missing. Yeah, good thing I didn't sell some of these. They are technically better than what we had before. But not the frame, but that's, that's different, I guess. We could try to sell some of those regardless. Put all those together. I'll just put that over there somewhere. We could sell some of that military fiber for some fat moolah. But let's just start putting some of the electrical stuff away here. Uh, can we upgrade our compound bow? Ooh! That's the last part to make our compound bow all purple. Speaking of that, though, ooh, dude. We, did, we got, that was such a successful trip. That was worth it. Because think about it. If we didn't stop by there, 
day 31 would hit and everything would have respawned. So we are kind of in an amazing place. We have the auger parts that we invested in earlier. We got the auger blade. All we need is a small little engine, little Thomas the tank engine or whatever the hell that dude's name is. And we're pretty good to go in my eyes. But anyways, back to storing some of this stuff. We got a really good pistol. Uh, that's just an extra pistol though. And what else do we want to store? I'll keep the hat on us. And eh, I'll put the bandana away. I think our inventory is looking pretty good. Uh, nighttime has come, so I'm going to start working on the farm a little bit, too. But look at that. The all-purple bow, baby. Ooh, mama. I like what I see. Now, why don't we get some of that forest ground? Let's start hoeing around a little bit, shall we? I think it's about time we hoe around. We'll install the defenses next episode. I kind of want to have an entire episode dedicated to the defenses, if that makes sense to you guys. But for now, today we robbed that bank and we got a lot of valuable stuff. So I'm pretty happy with how today went. Now, I also have an idea on how to make this work. Hmm. So here's what I'm thinking we do. Uh, uh, mm, we could continue breaking through this. Honestly, oh no, we cannot continue breaking through that. Uh, I'll put some dirt there. You know what I think we could do though? Uh, to make this a little bit better. I will continue doing this. What we could do is have elevated platforms for all of our crops. Now, what I mean by this is that every, like, it's going to be kind of like the roof is now, where it's sloped on each side. But what's going to happen is, like, every floor. So, like, okay, you have that, right? And then on this floor, we are going to have our stuff kind of like this. I don't know how well this is going to work, but hopefully it does. If not, we'll figure it out. But in the meantime, we can begin hoeing around, hoe around, ho, ho around we could fertilize not too interested in that and we could start planting our initial crops so firmer star this is kind of the game plan of what i would end up liking to do with my farm let me know what you guys think of that you know but i wonder will, will it let me okay so that can, can i do that oh i can okay okay just as a quick little test we're gonna grab some seeds we're gonna see if this works but i'm thinking well, next episode, we're going to do our next round of stops by two traders. Then we're going to the gun stores. So with as empty an inventory as possible, overnight I'll do some mining. Try to get the resources for more cement. And I think we got a pretty good plan up in store. I'm also going to put all of the traps. I'm just trying to put all the good stuff there, really. Uh, but anyways, I'll put some of that ground away. And uh, I'll put the compound bow body. We could sell... Ooh, 800. That is not a shabby amount to sell for, but I'll start putting this stuff here. We still got the rest of our materials. This is looking pretty good. I'm ready to walk home with whatever we can. I'll actually reorganize those a little bit there. And then we will have our tokens with us. Trust me, we're going to try to make some money. I'll even try to sell a couple of these things now that I think about it. Like our pistol, it's got a better, yeah, it's got a better barrel than that. We'll sell the barrel. Uh, we got another pistol we can sell to hell with it. I'll sell all this crap, man. If I ain't using it, it's going. Or at least if I have multiple copies, it's going. I'll leave that so we can repair it together with the other one. Because they're both kind of damaged. Uh, same with the Magnum parts. And uh, AK parts too. Those AK parts sell for a pretty penny. So I'm kind of organizing myself here to really try to make some profit next episode. I think we're in a pretty good position. Okay, anyways. Back to the seeds though. What I want to do is grab... Ooh. I, I could never sell the rocket launcher. That thing helped us defeat the zombie bear that one time. I will never forget that. Another pistol, though, but okay. Like I was saying, we want seeds. That's what we want to invest into. Where are the seeds at? Goldenrod? I'll take some goldenrod, man. I would love some more goldenrod. Let's see if it works the way that I think it does. Also, probably got to hydrate a little bit because we are pretty thirsty. But anyways, can we do this? Okay, so that goes there. Can we put it down here? We cannot. Well, damn. At least... Oh, no, we can. We can. It just for a split second. So very precise... Boom shakalaka, our house is going to have a roof of plants. Oh baby, Farmer Star has come up with a genius idea. This right, my friends, do this to your house in real life. What could possibly go wrong? Just start growing plants on there. Just throw some dirt on your roof and go to work. Because right now, we got that going. We will expand that farm in a little bit. But other than that, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. For now, like I said, next episode is going to be a good one. Four gun stores and two new settlements full of stuff to buy. And we are going ready to buy, as you can see from the abundance of tokens. We're going to be prepared. If there's something good 
we're buying it. Don't you worry about that. But other than that, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys, Old Tone, for watching. I'm wishing you guys nothing but the most fan-freaking-tastic day in the world. Seriously, hope you do enjoy it. And I cannot wait till we see you in the stream later. Or if you're watching this, you know, maybe not the day of. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy the rest of the videos going up. Or, you know, maybe by then, the next episode's already out. So hopefully, enjoy the next episode. But other than that, it's going to wrap it up for me now. Thank you guys, Old Tone, for watching. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.